Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So there's a recent launch by both SpaceX and NASA to another asteroid, and I saw the headlines about this and I was like, oh, okay, yay, thumbs up for yet another launch to yet another asteroid. But this launch is actually way more than meets the eye. A lot of firsts are happening around this launch and its mission can have huge implications and insights into Earth's core. You know, this crazy looking thing. So kick up your shoes for a few minutes and let me tell you about the Psyche mission to Psyche. Yeah, it's confusing. The destination and the mission have the same name, but we'll make it work. So let's get into it. So on October 13th, 2023 at 1019 AM Eastern time, Psyche launched aboard SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket at the Kennedy Space Center. It was actually meant to launch the day before, but bad weather pushed it back a day. Five, four, three, two, one, engine ignition. And lift off, lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche on a mission to a metal asteroid in deep space to study the building blocks of our planet's inner space. And just a few minutes after launch, the side boosters cut off their engines and detached from the central core stage and headed back to Florida. Eight minutes after that, both side boosters began their landing burns and touched down on SpaceX's landing zones one and two. And I don't know why, but I get as excited seeing the side boosters land as I do the launch itself. Is that true? I think that's true. Maybe it's just because it's still so new, but every time I see it, I'm like, wow, very impressive rocket men. And the landing of these boosters actually sent four successive sonic booms across the region. But if it's two boosters landing, why four sonic booms, you may ask? And this is something I had actually not read about before. Because of the length of the boosters, the bottom of the rocket breaks the sound barrier before the top does, creating two separate sonic booms or in this case, four, because of the simultaneous return of the two side boosters. And as I mentioned in the opening, this launch marked a number of firsts for both NASA and SpaceX. Not including Elon's Tesla Roadster in 2018, Psyche marks the rocket's first official interplanetary mission. It is also the first NASA mission to launch on a Falcon Heavy. So despite it seeming like a simple launch to go visit an asteroid, there was actually a lot riding on this launch. And then there's the mission itself. Psyche is a NASA mission to study a metal-rich asteroid with the same name, located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. And this is NASA's first mission to study an asteroid that has more metal than rock or ice. And while it may seem like, meh, it's an asteroid made of one element rather than another, it's actually pretty groundbreaking. When Psyche the spacecraft arrives at Psyche the asteroid, it will spend about two years orbiting the asteroid to take pictures, map the surface, and collect data to determine Psyche's composition. Scientists think asteroid Psyche, which is about 173 miles at its widest point and is a bit of a potato shape, could be part or all of the iron-rich core of a planetesimal, a building block of a rocky planet. The asteroid is most likely a survivor of multiple violent hit-and-run collisions, common when the solar system was forming, so that all that's left is the core. Which makes Psyche something wholly unique to study. But then again, the asteroid could also be something else. It could also be the leftover piece of a completely different kind of iron-rich body made from a metal-rich material somewhere in the solar system. Psyche may be able to show us how the Earth's core and the core of other terrestrial planets came to be. It's all very journey to the center of the Earth. Nicola Fox of the Science Mission Directorate at NASA headquarters said, I'm excited to see the treasure trove of science Psyche will unlock as NASA's first mission to a metal world. By studying asteroid Psyche, we hope to better understand our universe and our place in it, especially regarding the mysterious and impossible to reach metal core of our own home planet, Earth. The Psyche spacecraft is scheduled to arrive at Asteroid Psyche in 2029, and this spacecraft, which is about the size of a small van, is also pretty groundbreaking. It has a magnetometer, a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer, and a multispectral imager to study the asteroid, but it is also powered 
by solar electric propulsion. It has four Hall effect thrusters that use electromagnetic fields to expel ions of inert xenon gas that in turn create thrust, trailing a blue glow of xenon. Two five-panel solar arrays power everything on board, including the science instruments. The solar arrays will produce 21 kilowatts of power when leaving the Earth and between 2.3 to 3.4 kilowatts of power during orbit around the asteroid. These thrusters are five times more efficient than normal rockets and use a lot less fuel. And this will be the first time that Hall effect thrusters have flown in deep space. Psyche the asteroid was actually discovered in 1852 by Italian astronomer Annibal de Gasparis. I'm butchering that. Because it was the 16th asteroid to be discovered, it is sometimes referred to as 16 Psyche. It's named for the goddess of the soul in Greek mythology, often depicted as a butterfly-winged female. Psyche orbits the Sun in the outer part of the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and it is approximately three times farther from the Sun than Earth. Because Psyche and Earth orbit at different speeds, the distance from Earth to Psyche varies from less than 186 million miles to more than 372 million miles. And the surface gravity on Psyche is pretty different. It is much less than it is on Earth and even less than the Earth's moon. On Psyche, lifting a car would feel like lifting a large dog. So we're all Superman on Psyche. Just lifting and throwing cars. That's what I'd be doing. There are still contradictions in the data, but the scientific analysis seems to indicate that Psyche is a combination of metal and rock, with metal composing 30 to 60% of its volume. The asteroid's composition has been determined by radar and optical observations, but until this mission sees Psyche up close for the first time, we don't 100% know what it looks like. If it is a planetesimal, asteroid Psyche may offer a close-up look at the interior of a terrestrial planet like Earth. I mean, we can't really bore a path into Earth's metal core or the cores of other rocky planets our instruments would just melt, so visiting Psyche could be kind of like a one-of-a-kind window. A window into the violent history of collisions and accumulated matter that created planets like our own. Like that old adage about, you know, traveling away from home in order to find yourself. And I think that's the biggest misconception that I see when people question why we go exploring into space. Why do we spend all this money and all these resources? What about, what about us? What about life here on Earth? And it's like, no, we explore out there to find answers back here. It's all connected. It's only sometimes about launching Teslas into space. So yes, obviously it's going to be a few years till Psyche's mission truly begins, but a successful launch is always a good start. And I hope this is truly a successful mission between SpaceX and NASA, and these Hall effect thrusters look amazing. That blue glow out the back, super sci-fi. I fully approve. And on a separate note, NASA just posted a lovely little trailer celebrating their 65th anniversary. I made a little video about it and it's over on my Patreon, so if you're curious, go on over there and take a look. It's exactly what you expect it to be, and I dare you not to get a little misty-eyed looking back over NASA's incredible history. Okay, that's it for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I don't know why I got weird there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I am hungry. That's why I'm getting weird because I'm getting hungry. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Wrap up the video, Marion. And as always, I will see you in the next video.